This is me studying for an important exam I have in two weeks. My daily goal is just to remember as many cold hard facts as possible. But there's just one thing standing in my way from achieving this daily goal. One word, five syllables. Procrastination. It's something we've all had to deal with multiple times in our lives and it is arguably the most annoying feeling in the world. And in today's video, I'm going to be looking at how we can scientifically tackle this problem which has been plaguing students from around the world for decades. If one were to look up the meaning of the word to procrastinate, it would say to delay or postpone action. To put off doing something. If you look up how to stop procrastinating, none of the videos or articles you get are really that helpful. You get buzzwords like work out why you're procrastinating or adopt anti-procrastination strategies. It seems to me like that's a lot easier said than done. Just like in my last video, I'm going to just stick to scientific proof and try and avoid buzzwords or buzz phrases and give you actual advice on how to deal with this problem once and for all. The first of two strategies I'm going to go over in this video is REBT, which stands for Rational Emotive Behaviour Therapy. It sounds complicated, but it's actually quite simple. The REBT theory is a way that scientists have been able to kind of explain what procrastination is. And it's been summed up very well in this vicious cycle here. So if I were just to summarize this image here, so if you start at A, which is your activating event or task at hand, and you work around this circle, basically what you do is you bring into question your negative or irrational beliefs, which are preventing you from doing the work. And you use logic to end up at E, which is the positive effects of rational beliefs. What I've done is I've linked down below a conversation that a therapist has had with a patient using this REBT approach so that you can see for yourself how it actually works. It's very long, which is why I didn't include it in the video, but it's definitely worth the read, it's like five minutes. But the two things I deal with personally when I struggle with procrastination are feeling like my freedoms are being taken away from me because I have to do this work, so I don't have freedoms to do what I want. And then the second thing I address is resentment because I do genuinely feel a resentment to having to just learn a bunch of stuff that isn't really gonna do much for me in the short term. And once I can kind of answer those two questions, I do find that I work far better and far more efficiently and I'm more at peace with what I'm doing. Now the second thing I'm gonna be looking at is something called TMT, which stands for Temporal Motivation Theory. Now, if you can believe this, a group of nerds got together and came up with a mathematical formula for procrastination. And so here is that formula. Motivation equals expectation times value over sensitivity to distraction times distraction. Like any fraction, in order to increase the motivation, we have to either increase the expectancy or the value, or we have to decrease the distractions. So how do we do this? With regards to self-efficacy, it can help to maybe dumb down a task that we're doing. So in my case, if I have to memorize a bunch of stuff, I can just say, okay, instead of trying to memorize 20 things at once, I'll just try and memorize five things this morning and then another five in the evening. With regards to value, it's just always constantly reminding myself about why it's important that I do this. Why am I putting myself through this pain? Now, with regards to reducing sensitivity to distractions, this right here is the number one distractor. The only piece of advice I can give to try and reduce distractions apart from being in a quiet environment is to remove the phone from your environment, out of sight, out of mind. By using this TMT formula, you can find your own ways of either increasing self-efficacy or increasing value to a task that you're trying to do or decreasing distractions and this should statistically make you more motivated to do something. I hope this video is helpful and I hope that some of the stuff that I covered can actually be useful to you in your day-to-day -day life. Leave a comment down below and please tell me if any of this stuff was helpful. Thank you and I'll catch you guys in the next one.